In this video, Curator Support explains how auto-tuning works by exploring the Log Viewer and shows how to edit your auto-tune settings for a remote source. Another huge feature that we've added was the ability to have the agent auto-tune itself. So no more worries about the tuning profiles and the polling interval times, etc., that you would have to worry about with WinClock 7. Now we can take a look at what the agent's doing um, just by going into this log viewer. So again, this is something that we have set, you know, it's not really for everyone to use. It's there, you know, you can, you can go in and see what the agent is doing. Um, but what I actually want to show is what, how the agent is determining. So we can see here right now that the agent's processing, you know, events from all the different channels, from all the different machines. We can see that, you know, it's processed 40 events here from this machine, perf 1200, on the, what was it, the security event channel? Yeah, so, so the security event channel, it grabbed 40 events. Now, it's actually, it is showing here right now the 40 events, you know, it's got an average EPS right now of 1.1. But what's going on behind the scenes is that, that that's all being tracked by the agent. And if the agent starts seeing, you know, fluctuations, in the remote sources or you know the local sources any source that this agent is responsible for any you know it's collecting events from it will change itself so it'll tell itself okay i saw like four events here in the last minute i'm going to tune myself and i'm going to increase the time to say i'm not going to go out again for another 60 seconds or you know so that's like the max time that we would go out so at least a minute it would check the channel so it's not hammering away like every three seconds or every you know it, with wing collect seven it would just go out to every three channels every three seconds and just ask hey do i have new events with wing collect 10 it doesn't do that it, it keeps track of as i said what it's seen before and it will adjust itself so we can see this if we go actually to see that we have to go into debug modes so this by default, InfoX is the, you know, the logging um, category that's set with the WinCollect 10 out of the box. Um, what we actually need to do is we need to go in here um, now and just turn on the advanced UI for a second and go to the log configuration and change it to debug. Now we built this into the, into the browser, the UI. Um, you can still use the logconfig.xml file that's, you know, it's available in the you know same path before C program files IBM when collect config and we have our log config here just if you have the console already open you can go in here and change it to debug mode now if we go back over to the log viewer we can start seeing some more information about the agent and if we take a look at some of these let's see if we can find some here now let's just load some newer files so let's take a look here, process some events. It's still updating some timestamps. But yeah, let's take a look at this one up here. So we can see, you know, it's done working with this, you know, workstations perf 1223 on the application channel. You know, it probably found some events, but it's already tuned itself out to like the almost the max time of 60 seconds. So this, as I said, they, these will fluctuate depending on, you know, what the agencies uh, coming in from all those remote sources. So that's the built in, you know, tuning, auto tuning and how it sort of works in behind the scenes. I, we don't need to go into too depth here of what's going on. Um, but, you know, auto tuning is the default um, set for your your sources. Now you can go in and you can configure each you know channel individually to not use auto. You can use um, like low event rate server and all the all the same similar stuff to what was WinCollect 10, but we do recommend everyone just use the automatic tuning um, and just let the agent handle it, um, and 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 it'll determine what it needs to do in order to start collecting events.